Okay. I think this is so called. So, Paula, you start. Do you, I think right? it's called cultured ceilings. Hmm. Yeah, cultured ceilings is what it's called. Um, <laughs> I forgot my notes. <laughs> ceiling is exhaled smoke from a bummed cigarette, a stray cloud from the sky. The ceiling of adjoining rooms and is the door chained on the other side. Outside the two soaked bars of the ceiling, a lighter gray lives, like the invisible sun wants to peek through all the marginalia of love. Two people are having a talk they already had. It's the ceiling. Revoked words live inside the erased smudge of this ceiling. A lot of pauses around the rain which erupts from its this ceiling. And time builds its promised towers through the fog of this ceiling. Uh, this cultured ceiling. This cultured ceiling is like, it's like, it's actually on the historical register because it once was a dollar store. It's on the west end of the strip mall. And I feel comfortable here. I grew up behind a strip mall. I grew up behind a water tower, a vague blue uh, looming um, sphere that I thought was full of water. Uh, but it was like there, at, at, when you would go in the backside of the strip mall, the cultured ceiling just kind of faded because you went in in the backside, you saw everything that went on behind. And, uh, and, 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 and there was so many things like freedom coming from the backside of the cultured ceiling. And the culture is so, the cultic thinking is so good at making a ceiling. And the great thing is coming in on the backside, it's like, yeah, you don't feel it. You can come in and you can, you know, you can move and you, you've got this freedom. But here's the thing with this water tower that was looming over me. It was like, it was a rite of passage. Um, so the deal was, when you got, when you came of age, you would climb up it and you would tag the water tower. Uh, I never tagged it, but I did go up it. I did go up, oh my gosh, I went up. And um, <laughs> the first time it freaked the shit out of me. Second time, I was like, I was like more, well, I was more inebriated, but I went up there and the latch was open. And so I could, my friend was with me and I could go into the water tower. So this, whole time as a young child thinking that there's all this water looming over me I go into it and I start descending and I start thinking wouldn't it be cool to like just dip my stinky sneaker in the water and then when those kids and they make the mac and cheese and the Kool-Aid and all that it's like yeah that's part of my you know uh, but then all of a sudden you know what I mean? It was, it was just a fast flash thought. But then all of a sudden, the, the ladder turned into chain link, and then I thought, I might, I might descend into this. And then, you know, like my whole essence would be just there, and, and, and it would be in everyone's food and everything, and, you know, and uh, I didn't, I didn't, I, I don't know. It was just like, it, oh, okay, no. <laughs> it was too much to think about when you're in the middle and you're hearing the echoes of, uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> the ceiling is dusk. <laughs> Many people feel unsettled by dusk. Give us day or night. <laughs> I can't be inside my own skin in the gloaming when our shadow selves get all their big ideas. The gaze of the ceiling is a soft equal sign. Two twin beds, childish or sexless as graves. 
The conversations performed below the ceiling harken back to what's unlovable. The performance of the original wound as general malaise. The ceiling wants to touch itself, or is that the other? Either way, there's no touching below this ceiling. Two people are still having a talk they already had about ceilings. Okay. <laughs> um, being reckless with the moment is, I, I think it's really healthy. Um, and um, the thing that I really feel, and, it, and it, it's not like I was just, I just like came upon it in a split second, but I'm not here to learn. I'm not. For me, I mean, I don't know. For others, it's their own thing. But I'm, I'm not here to learn. I'm, I'm here to um, experience. Like this thing, I've never done this thing. I never did like a, where it's like, they say poetry, but I'm not. I'm not really doing poetry. <laughs> I'm just talking to you people in a really quiet space, and everybody is so well behaved and quiet it feels it makes me really nervous because it feels kind of like like oh my gosh is, is this is really, you know so i and i just want to be silly and there's waves behind me and i want uh, you know imagining i'm on the island and and anyway all i'm saying is <laughs> it this was fun to try and i don't know if it really worked but um it was fun to try and uh thanks you know everybody for inviting us paula thanks for talking me into it and uh the, the one thing though um about experience uh as opposed to learning experience gives you like such um a freedom because you just experience it and you don't you, it's not really like a thing where like you know i have to learning is more like oh i gotta look into that and then get to that where experience is just like, you know, just like I'm lying here on the floor having an experience with you, all of you. It's really pretty. And I want, you know, I, 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 in all those empty chairs, I see, <laughs> I see all my family. <laughs> and they're saying, hey, hooray for you. <laughs> I'm being goofy. I mean, I could go on. Me and Terry are gonna do some songs. Let's do it, Terry. Later. Oh, that's later. All right. The end. The end. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I,